think it's a key skill we need to be thinking about. It is probably the one that is creating most attrition from the profession, um, graduates coming through as we've talked about, stepping into the first job, but within the first three to five years we're seeing massive burnout of vets stepping out of the profession, not coming back into it for, for a lot of reasons. Um, resilience, a bit hard to define, it's that bounce back ability, it's how do we get back up. It's having experienced some sense of failure um, early on, working out how to deal with us and move it forward. And again, in our career path as vets, we're the best of the best of the peer group we go through and we don't often experience that as part of the, the process. Two parts of it is the personal resilience piece. People have to learn some of that and I think we need to give people opportunities to learn that early on um, throughout a career. The thing that is most important though is the practice has to be a resilience practice. It has to put into place things that support these people and have the right mindset because it's a cultural thing at the end, end of the day. Um, there's a lot of talk in the, in the professional moment about talking about mistakes. How do we deal with that? Um, the, the blame culture uh, that goes with that. As high technically achieving individuals, admissions of mistakes is highly damaging to our self-esteem. So it's again a cultural no-no that we actually discuss making mistakes. And of course, if you're highly technically driven and you've got employees, you will hold them to account at a very high level. That's a very hard act to follow for a lot of these graduates. So there is just, it's a leadership thing and it's movement from management to leadership, which is the, we talked about my pathway journey. Well, at the bottom it's management, just managing stuff. When you move further across, you get into leadership and that's about leading people and inspiring them and doing it very differently. That's where I suspect the corporates or bringing in external skill sets and external abilities, devolving management and leadership away from vets, get them doing vet stuff and then putting better leadership around that is actually a different skill set. And I think that's the best way to build resilience over time.